This is an example of poor professional boundaries. Sheila is a 32 year old carer who works in a care facility that serves clients undergoing rehabilitation for addiction to controlled substances. One of the residents is Ray, a 25 year old man with an addiction to prescription painkillers. Lately, Sheila finds herself dressing up more for work than usual and spending more time with Ray than other residents. Ray enjoys jogging, so Sheila now stays late to jog with him. Sheila tells herself that she's been supportive of Ray. He seems to appreciate Sheila's efforts and wants to hug Sheila more often. He asked if she would like to go have pizza next week, just the two of them. Yesterday, one of the other residents asked Sheila if she was going steady with Ray. Sheila's supervisor overheard the comment and now Sheila is worried that her supervisor will misunderstand her relationship with Ray. So what are the issues in this situation? First off, we need to consider, is Sheila having inappropriate thoughts about Ray? She says she's finding herself dressing up more. So is she herself thinking there's some sort of relationship going on there? This is completely appropriate. You know, we cannot have personal relationships with the people we support. Going back to what we've said about dressing up, we need to look at the dress code. Is dressing up meaning that she is wearing clothing that is inappropriate for the job she's doing? You know, is the clothing she she's wearing in line with the company's dress code? We need to consider favoritism as well. You know, she is spending more time with Ray than the other residents. Again, this is something we cannot do. If we are assigned one-to-one -one responsibility for working with someone, then yes, we will spend more time with them while we're doing that one-to-one. -one. But that is not a matter of personal choice. That is rotored, that is controlled by whoever controls the rotors for that unit. We do not decide as care workers who we are going to spend our time with at the expense of others. The other people in that unit have needs too. Are they being met or are they being neglected because Sheila is choosing to spend all of her time with Ray? She's doing extracurricular activities with Ray. He enjoys jogging, so she is staying behind and she is jogging with him. Now, again, this is not acceptable. You do not take part in extracurricular activities with the people that you support. You work with them for the duration of your shift and then your shift ends and you go home. Come back on your next shift and it starts again. But once your shift is finished, that is it. She is not insured to be with Ray at that time. So she should not be doing it. We have to consider safeguarding issues. Now, we could look at the fact that she is perhaps having these inappropriate thoughts. She is fantasizing about having a relationship with one of the people she supports. You know, if any carer and cared for relationship comes under the remit of safeguarding, it is completely unacceptable. So she should not be putting herself in a position where Ray thinks that he has got a chance of having a relationship with her because that can never happen in a professional relationship. He's asking her if he would like to go have pizza, just the two of them. You know, somewhere along the line, there has been this miscommunication and they have both obviously got feelings for each other that go beyond the professional boundary. This is something that she needs to be discussing with her supervisor. And perhaps she needs to move into another unit or certainly move into an area of that unit where she will not come into contact with Ray. Final thing we need to look at is the potential for complaints. It's the potential for allegations to be made against them. One of the residents has already asked if they're in a relationship, if they go in study. Now that suggests that their behavior whilst on that unit is very, very obviously flirtatious, is very openly you know, demonstrative. It says earlier on in that scenario, he wants, Ray wants to hug Sheila more often, which implies there has already been physical contact between the two of them, there has already been hugs. Again, that oversteps the boundary of what is acceptable within the care relationship. So, there is potential that complaints could be made about the behaviour of Sheila while she's working on that unit. 